Welcome to Streaming Into the Voids, What's New in Streaming, where we discuss the highlights of what's available for you to stream the week of December 9th. I'm Kim Hollis, and with me are Raul Burriel, Tim Brady, and David Mumpower. We will start with Hulu and Maestra, Strings of Truth, Season 1, coming December 9th. Sympathy for Lady Vengeance's Lee Young A stars in this K-drama, where she plays a world-renowned conductor who leads an equally distinguished orchestra in South Korea. But beneath the precision and glamour hide deep, dark secrets. This series is loosely based on the 2018 French show Philharmonia. This will also air on Disney+. Plus. Next up is Dragons, The Nine Realms, Season 8, coming December 14th. Season (laughs) 8. With the dangerous world serpent Jormungandr on the loose, Tom and the Dragon Riders must devise a strategy to protect the realms from the formidable dragon. Sledkin, in relentless pursuit of the god's realm and the dragon sight gem, throws a wrench in their plans when she steals Plowhorn from the Riders. This will air on Hulu and Peacock. Rolly, you didn't read that like someone who's watched the first seven seasons. Is that fair to say? (laughs) (laughs) There is a lot going on there. All right. Our final new Hulu release is Such Brave Girl, season one, coming December 15th. For May 24, this British sitcom about a dysfunctional single parent family was created by and stars Kat Sadler. The raunchy comedy also stars Sadler's real life sister, Lizzie Davidson, and Sherlock's Louise Brealey. We move on to Netflix and Kevin Hart and Chris Rock, headliners only, coming December 12th. From back in the day to the top of their game, Kevin Hart and Chris Rock offer an unparalleled behind-the-scenes look at their friendship and careers. Next up is Singles Inferno, Season 3, coming December 12th. In this Korean reality show, a new set of singles embark on a journey of love on a remote island, navigating drama, passion, and everything in between for a chance at paradise. Really, Korea? I'll let Squid Game pass, but a Love Island ripoff? I know. On December 12th is Under Pressure, the U.S. Women's World Cup team. In this docuseries, the U.S. women's national soccer team pursues their third consecutive title amid trials and triumphs at the 2023 FIFA World Cup. We move on to December 13th and 1670. In this satirical comedy, a zany nobleman contends with family feuds and clashes with peasants in his quest to become the most famous person in Poland. That's a low bar. (laughs) It sure is. Also on December 13th is Car Masters, Rust to Riches, Season 5. New faces join the Gotham Garage Gang as they prepare to bring their business to the next level, but it'll take a lot of hard work and creativity. Next up is The Influencer, coming December 13th. In this Colombian film, after a social media stunt goes wrong, an influencer is forced to rebuild her reputation while navigating a cutthroat online scene. On December 14th is As the Crow Flies, Season 2. In this Turkish series, Asli and Lale must break from the norm and face fresh challenges as they continue to fight for their survival in a cutthroat media industry. Also on December 14th is Yu Yu Hakusho. After a selfless act costs him his life, teen delinquent Yasuki Urameshi is chosen as a spirit detective to investigate cases involving rogue yokai. This Japanese series is based on a very popular manga. I've absolutely heard of this one, and yeah, there's yep. a chance it could be huge. So will it be a Cowboy Bebop or will it be a One Piece? I'm leaning towards a One Piece, but we'll see. Next up is The Crown, Season 6, Part 2, coming December 14th. With the Commonwealth irrevocably changed, Queen Elizabeth II reflects on her life and legacy and paves the way for her successors, Charles and William. And I just got a text from my mom saying they watched the first half and <laughs> she, all, all she could say is, wow. Okay. Our final new Netflix release is Chicken Run, Dawn of the Nugget, coming December 15th. After successfully escaping from Tweety's farm in a daring and risky manner, Ginger has discovered her ideal place, an idyllic island bird sanctuary where the entire flock can live in harmony without any risks from humans. With the arrival of Ginger and Rocky's new daughter, Molly, it appears that Ginger's fairy tale ending has finally come true. However, the entire chicken population is now confronted with a menacing 
menacing and new danger on the mainland led by a familiar foe. Determined to safeguard their freedom, even if it means endangering it, Ginger and her team are determined to break in. This is, of course, the Ardman animation sequel to the fabulous chicken run. And if they didn't want to be a pie, imagine how they're going to feel about being a nugget. (laughs) (laughs) It only took 23 years. Yep. And there is no Mel Gibson here, if you were oh, wondering. Okay. Yeah. That's right. Zach Levi takes up the role of Rocky in this sequel. Yep. We move on to Max and Trees and Other Entanglements coming December 12th. <sighs> It's a documentary about trees. (laughs) This documentary uses imagery, photography, and animation to introduce a diverse group of individuals entangled with trees they love. I think this one might be looking for an Academy Award nomination for a documentary, so it might have some significance. On Paramount Plus is The Billion Dollar Goal, coming December 11th. Through a rich tapestry of never-before-seen archival footage, animation, and expert interviews, this docuseries delves into the decades-long journeys that have defined American soccer. The series prominently features the late but acclaimed journalist Grant Wall, who died suddenly during the 2022 World Cup. On December 12th from Paramount Plus is Born in Synanon. This four-part series chronicles one woman's journey to discover the truth about Synanon, the experimental community that turned into a full-blown cult. And our final new Paramount Plus release is Finest Kind, coming December 15th. Set against the backdrop of commercial fishing, two brothers raised in different worlds are reunited over a fateful summer as desperate circumstances force them to strike a deal with a violent Boston crime gang. This stars Ben Foster, Toby Wallace, Tommy Lee Jones, and Jenna Ortega, and it It's written and directed by Brian Helgeland. That's a hell of a cast. Yep. And Helgeland's not bad himself. Okay, we move on to Peacock, which will start with Magic in Mistletoe coming December 9th. Harrington is the author of a popular book series, but commercial success has left him a bitter recluse. As he returns to his hometown for an annual Christmas festival celebrating his books, he's joined by April, a publicist for the major publishing house he works for. April is there for damage control after Harrington's recent comments on social media have ruffled some feathers. But as she gets to know him better, hope springs that April can unlock Harrington's guarded heart and help and rediscover the spirit of the holiday. You know what, guys? This sounds like a Hallmark movie. Subscribe! I subscribe! <laughs> I mean, yes, he goes to his hometown. Yeah, all of all of the things that apply. On December 9th is WWE NXT Deadline. Tim! <laughs> Uh, yep, it's NXT's last premium live event, I guess you would call it, of uh, of, of the year, and it features something they tried last year, which was well-received, and it's called the Iron Survivor Match, which is, there's men's and women's matches where it's a multi-person match, and basically just most pinfalls in like a half hour wins and becomes number one contender with the gimmick is if you are pinned or submitted or whatever you are put in the penalty box for a minute so you're out of, out of the match it was a really neat concept last year and they're trying it again this year and they do have like i said there's a lot of gems in nxt right now so it's it's worth checking out don't lie tim come on nobody knows anyone in nxt it's a disaster it's going to be on whatever the cw is that's how bad it is <laughs> that's <laughs> Also new on Peacock is the WBO World Cruiserweight Championship bout coming December 10th. Yes, someone I've never heard of named Chris Billiam Smith will fight someone I've never heard of named Matus Masternak. Apparently, uh, William Smith will have his first title defense, so he's a champion, against the fifth-ranked Polish boxer Masternak, which I guess answers our earlier question about who the most famous person from Poland is. (laughs) (laughs) It's all coming together. Wait, real fighting? No, I'll I'll stick to the fake fighting. Mm -hmm, Definitely. On December 10th is Christmas on Cherry Lane. A young couple preparing to welcome their first child, an empty nester and her fiancé ready to start a new chapter, and a couple who unexpectedly have the chance to expand their family on Christmas Eve celebrate the holiday as they navigate these turning points in their lives. This movie reunites the Good Witches, Catherine Bell, and James Denton. December 11th brings yet another Hallmark movie in Round and Round, which is sadly 
not a rat biopic, but rather a rom-com. Rachel's stuck in a time loop, living the night of her parents' Hanukkah party. Can Zach, the nice boy grandma's trying to set her up with, help her make it to tomorrow? Is anyone listening to this not currently stuck in a time loop? Please let me know. (laughs) And we close out the Peacock offerings with The Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip Roni Legacy coming December 14th. This is where I learned that Roni is an abbreviation for The Real Housewives Mm -hmm. of New York City. Yep, I just learned that the other day myself. This series brings together some of the stars of The Real Housewives of New York City as they travel to St. Bart's. Hooray! All right, we move on to Amazon Prime Video and Reacher Season 2 coming December 15th. Hell yeah. That's right. Reacher is pulled from his vagabond life by a coded message informing him that a member of the 110th His elite group of Army Special Investigators has been murdered. He and some of his former military cohorts, including Sorenda Swan, reunite to investigate and soon realize the case is bigger than they ever could have imagined. Kim, you finally watched the first episode of Reacher. The series is awesome, isn't it? The first episode was certainly enjoyable and better than I thought it would be. I was amused, though, to see a story that described it as modern dad TV the other day, though. All right, our final new release comes from Apple TV+. Plus. And it's The Family Plan coming December 15th. Dan lives a quiet suburban life as a husband and father of three who sells cars for a living. However, decades earlier, he was a government assassin and now someone is out for revenge. Dan takes his family on a road trip, in quotes, to Las Vegas as he uses his former skills to keep them alive while keeping his past a secret. Starring Mark Wahlberg, Michelle Monaghan, and Ciaran Hines. Yeah, it's kind of like a hybrid action comedy as Mark Wahlberg fends off assassins while also trying to conceal the fact from his family that he himself used to be an assassin. Yeah, it's Mark Wahlberg, so I'll skip it. But I will be watching the Chicken Run sequel. I loved the original. I love our men in general, and I am super excited about this. I actually have a little stuffed Mac from Chicken Run toy, and I love her. They're supposedly running out of clay, so watch Ardman movies while you can. That's right. Tell you what, guys, I love the original Chicken Run. The trailer for the sequel just did not work for me at all. So I don't know that I'm all that interested. But given the selections out there, if I had to pick one show this week, it would be the new Chicken Run movie. I am an L.A. Confidential super fan, so I will watch anything Helgeland does. So I am all over Finest Kind. And I will also throw out that the trailer for Maestra, Strings of Truth, is really, really good. So I'm I'm at least intrigued by it. So go watch something. 